When we bought our 1998 Land Rover Discovery 1 five months ago, we were immediately faced with a dilemma when the need to replace the head gaskets became apparent and we were forced to choose ARP head studs versus head bolts to keep the lid on our engine tight. We chose the head studs and now I'll tell you why. I'm Matt Kester and this is Secondhand Overland. At some point, in your ownership of a vehicle with the old Land Rover V8, you'll almost certainly face the prospect of a head gasket replacement. It is what it is, but it also isn't as horrible as many have led you to believe and perfectly well within the realm of possibility for most DIYers. When it comes time to do that project, we feel it's definitely worth upgrading to a set of ARP head studs. When the bolt gets too hard, just outsource it. We went with ARP's head studs over the cheaper torque to yield head bolts because, simply put, I think they are a better, more sound way of clamping the two halves together, and it is more than worth the price differential to me. In fact, the price differential is the reason the torque to yield head bolts exist in the first place. They're just simply cheaper to produce and create a cost savings during manufacturing as they require less labor to install. You see, with studs, you first gotta bed the stud into the engine block by hand, then set the head on then cap the stud with a nut and run it down to torque it into spec. With bolts, you simply slap the head on and run the bolts down and turn them a couple of quarter turns past snug and you're done. You don't even need a torque wrench. That few moments of time savings per engine adds up when you're producing thousands of them a year, which in turn becomes bajillions in labor cost savings shrewd CEOs can brag about to their shareholders when it comes time to write their own bonus checks. Companies, of course, love to point out that their cost savings is ostensibly passed on to the original vehicle owner in the form of a lower initial MSRP, but after that, their benefits become more of a liability for owners, as head bolts' typical disadvantages, to which we'll speak of more in a minute, are usually only something the poor sap further down the line has to deal with when it comes time to take the heads off and put them back on again. This is something manufacturers are banking on will happen once the original engine warranty has expired. Which brings us to the only statistically significant advantage head bolts have over studs, the cost. At the time we shot this video, a new set of replacement head bolts for our discovery could be had from Atlantic British for $79.99. The corresponding set of ARP head studs were available for $279.99. We have links below to both if you'd like to check out the current pricing. Okay, so why the big cost difference and why is it worth it? First, because of their concentric shape and differing threads on either end, studs just cost more to produce as they require more steps than bolts to complete plain and simple. That's why they cost more. This is worth it to me because all of that extra work allows them to apply torque into clamping force more consistently and efficiently. You see, when you screw a bolt in, it begins to stretch in length as it works its way further down the threads, resulting in clamping force. But because torque is being applied to the bolt's shank, it begins to twist at the same time. Because a bolt has to deal with both twisting and stretching forces at the same time, it is inherently less efficient at applying steady clamping force on the cylinder head. This creates a less reliable seal between the two halves, which in turn may lead to earlier head gasket failures, especially in higher compression applications. Bolts also only increase their engagement with the engine block's threads the further they are twisted in, meaning they will never be able to engage all of the engine block's threads before they are being torqued. This increases the chances of overloading the soft aluminum threads of a Rover V8 and stripping them out. A stud, on the other hand, is first fully seated into the engine block before torque is applied to the nut on the top end. This allows maximum thread engagement with the block at all times and because the nut spins around the shank of the stud, it eliminates the twisting forces that compromise bolt integrity. On our Rover V8s, these twisting factors also create the potential for unequal clamping force over the surface of the head. Because some of the interior bolts are longer than the rest, the prescribed degrees of turn may translate into more twisting forces across the shank, creating an uneven pocket of clamping force in relation to the rest of the head. Because studs are torqued to a prescribed setting using a device capable of running all the nuts down to the same torque value, i.e. a torque wrench, 
Clamping force should be consistent across the head. It's these factors which give studs a significant advantage in strength and durability and should lead to longer intervals between head gasket jobs. Okay, but maybe you're a true die-hard frugal fanatic and hell, those original head bolts lasted 100,000 miles and that was good enough, so why should you spend three times as much on a set of studs for the vague promise of longer intervals between head gasket jobs? Well, being a good frugal explorer, you'll probably understand the notion of buy once, cry once. The fact that the cheapest thing today isn't always the least expensive over the long run. Someone who plans on owning their rig for a while like we do will appreciate the fact that head studs are reusable. Forever. For. Ever. Due to the twisting forces head bolts undergo when being torqued to yield, they deform in an irreversible manner and should not be reused as they will not properly secure the head to the block. Studs are also more forgiving for some of the challenges a DIYer might face when doing a head gasket replacement. Every source you find about doing a head gasket job will not only mention, but also strongly emphasize how important it is to blow out the head bolt holes on the engine block and be certain there is no debris whatsoever in them before you you put the head bolts back in. This is because if there is enough debris at the bottom of one of these bolt holes, it will create a new floor in the bolt hole which the bolt cannot pass through. If the bolt happens to strike this floor before it is fully torqued, it will at best provide insufficient clamping force and, at worst, could result in a stuck broken bolt and or stripped out bolt hole. Also. Heads that have been skimmed are even more prone to this problem as they now have a shorter overall bolt path to begin with. While it isn't ideal, if you were to accidentally miss some debris and a stud didn't seat fully, you'd still have a better chance of getting a full clamp as the threads on the top side of the stud extend well below the top of a fully secured head, giving them more room for error. You'll also have a better shot at identifying the error before it's too late as you'll likely notice one stud protruding further than the others as you were running them in by hand and would be able to try and remove the debris before torquing the head down. While you likely won't be able to put all of the studs in before you slap the head on, you'll be able to use enough of them to keep the head gasket in perfect alignment as you drop the head on, something you'll struggle to do using head bolts and especially if you're trying to do it by yourself. So there you have it. That's why we made the decision we made and went with the ARP head studs in our Land Rover head gasket job and why we would recommend them to anyone else looking at doing a head gasket job. Of course, we'll keep you posted along the way and if our opinion changes, we'll let you know. If you're new here and you think you want to see more content like this, hit the subscribe button and ring that little bell so you never miss a new video. As always, I'm Matt Kester. You can find me on Instagram at frugalexplored at. Until next time, be good.